What's up, B's and G's? Nate here with Under the Table Brewing, and I'm here because it's hop experiment time. 2018 hop experiment. It's the triple double play. So, or depending on who you ask, it might be the dual grain triple play. Check out that label. Isn't that rad? It's exit 12. So cool. So this one is from Nick. Um, this hops experiment is being spearheaded by the Dean's List. Mr. Mike Dean. Um, tearing it up. Got this thing all under wraps. Um, so he came up with the base recipe. It is a double IPA this time. I think this is the first time we've really done a a double IPA in any of these experiments, at least that I've uh, been involved with. Now, there have been some double IPAs that have entered the arena in some of the other hop experiments, maybe by chance, maybe by accident, maybe by happy accidents, right? Um, so anyway, this one, uh, well, let's just preface this whole thing with the hops experiment this year is two grains, it is two row, and 30, uh, crystal 30, or some variant thereof, and then three hops of your choice used at different stages in the brew. So we've got, uh, in this one, well, everyone picked three hops. Some of the hops that were chosen were the same hops used in different points in the process. So the whole idea is there's boil hops or bittering hops, we'll say. Um, flavor, you know, bittering hops, flavor hops, and then dry hop or, or aroma hops. Uh, in this case, uh, Nick over at Exit 12 has used laurel at 10.2% alpha acid for his bittering hops. And we've got one ounce at 60, a half ounce at uh, 49 minutes exactly, uh, one ounce at 40 minutes, and one ounce at 30 minutes. Um, target IBU is 87, and target al uh, alcohol is 8.2. Um, just a frame of reference there. Um, so laurel for the bittering at those times I mentioned. And then Centennial, 9.2% alpha, at uh, for Whirlpool, one ounce at 165, and then another ounce uh, at 150. 15 minutes for the first one and 10 minutes for the second. And then there was a Holotau Blanc, Blanc for dry hop, only one ounce, um, and that was for five days. So, pretty interesting uh, combination. Oh, hello, Penny. Hello, dog. You want to be on the internet? I say hello, internet. Hello, internet. Yes. All right. So, excuse me. Um, never work with children or animals. That's right. We're a face only a mother could love. Ooch, to the mother. All right. A buzz off. Go on. Go lay down. Go on. Go. Go off. Go on. I know you're jealous. So, let's get into this thing. Get in the glass and see what this one's all about. I know you want some beer too. I know. Okay. I'm about to boot you, dog. Go on. Go lay down. Go. Off. All right. I like to use the Teku for these. I think it really brings out some nice aromas. Um, it's a great drinking glass, so I'll be using the same glassware for every one of these tastings. Keep the at least part of the playing field level, right? Here we go. So. This is a, I believe this is a keg conditioned beer. Um, the yeast on all of these is uh, Chico, USO5, or you know, whatever you got, you, you know, 001 or 1968, I think that's what the White Labs is. So, there you go. A little hazy, not too bad. Um, it's not a, you know, milkshake looking brew or a, New England style, but it definitely has some uh, permanent 
haze, probably chill haze and hop haze, mostly hop haze. These are all pretty hoppy beers. So let's get an aroma. Hmm. It's not, it's not a real punchy aroma. It's nice. Clean. It smells like other Hollertal Blanc beers that I've had. Hmm. Carbonation levels look decent. Got some rising bubbles. They're not streaming, but they're uh, definitely floating up there. It looks like it's a carbonation for a, a double IPA. So let's uh, see what else I can dig out of here. I'm getting a bit of a breadiness. Getting a little bit of that Centennial. Smells a little bit like, a little bit like um, Two Hearted, but not as juicy and uh, orangey as uh, Two Hearted is. So, cheers, cheers, Nick. Bitterness is there. Um, certainly a, uh, a firm bitterness. Balances nicely with the uh, with the malt, so because there's uh, you know there's quite a bit of grain in there, so a lot of sugars to balance. Hmm. Oh, hello! I know you just need love, don't you? You just need it off. All right. Pardon the interruptions from my spazzo dog. I finally got all the kids to bed, so I had a minute to do this review. All right. But I didn't get this kid to bed. She's just a spazzo tonight. I don't know what her deal is. Okay. Off. I know you want to play. You want to play. Go lay down. Go on. Go be a good girl. Be a good girl. So, whoa, that was her. <laughs> Go on, before you knock the tripod over. Mm. That's pretty solid. Um, still, these are all gonna be, I think, pretty fresh as long as I get to them before, before they get too, uh, too long in the tooth, but um, that's a solid beer, man. It's not uh, it's not a juice bomb. It's not super super dank. Actually, if anything, it's got more kind of a more earthy um, dankness to it than any kind of citrus, like a strong citrus. Um, I'm not. I've had a couple of laurel um, kind of dominant beers, um, but it's not it's not pulling out any of the anything from the memory banks as far as what the laurel brings. I think in this one, it's a lot of bitterness from the laurels. Uh, the laurels, oh, the laurel adds. Nice carbonation. Um, anyway, really, really cool label, man. I think you did a great job on the label. Uh, be interested to see what, what uh, program you're using for that, but uh, really well done. Um, you even got the Surgeon Generals warning on there. Of course I won't focus because my camera never cooperates on this phone. You know. But uh, yeah, be safe. Don't drive. It will impair your ability. So I'm going to keep these probably right around 10 minutes. Um, this is 9, 16 round. Mm. But yeah, man. Very cool. Um, definitely easy drinking beer for 8.2. Mm. That bitterness, man. It's punchy. Punchy bitterness. We'll see how many of these I can do in a row. <laughs> I think I'll do two tonight and then call it. Cheers, everybody.
Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, homebrew up. Right, Penny? Right. Thanks, Nick. Cheers, man.